Here at Epping, the winner of the Rock Auto Restored Award is an absolutely magnificent piece of A, history, B, performance, and C, the General Motors Corporation in general. But there's a little tiny decal on the back of this car that is actually the tip-off to why this car is so special. Kristen, tell them what they're looking at. They're looking at a 1963 Chevy Biscayne that was set up in the 60s by Nikki Performance out of Illinois and the car is as it left Nikki's. For the people that don't know, Nikki Performance was a Chicago based Chevy dealership that was taken in all kinds of Chevrolet Performance cars but turning them into absolute monsters for some of the biggest names in the sport. Have you been able to trace the history of this one? We're still working on that actually. It's not something you can just Google and, yeah, and right. get it that way so it's a work in progress. You know there's a lot of registries for the Yanko cars and for other things. Is there a registry for Nikki cars? Not that we found so far however I have been told that we can contact Nikki. That's the goal. Contact them see what they can tell us about the car. From a restoration standpoint did you get it as it sits? We got it as it sits. How much work was done to it before you got it? Uh, did you ever see any pictures of how they found it or anything? Nope. Um, as far as I know, very little has been done to it. It's not the original paint. We don't know when it was painted. We know it was a while ago. Um, that's really it. Like I said, as far as we know, this is how it's been since the 60s. Absolutely stunning that it's, this is how you used to pick them up. They were, they were the ultimate sleepers, but they were also the ultimate performance cars. They were race ready machines. Absolutely. How long have you actually had the car in your possession? Roughly four or five months, I think. Okay, is this something that you plan on just sitting on until the, the bubble comes back, I guess we should say, or was this a labor of love that you always wanted? It's one of those things I think we'll keep it around for a while, really um, discover its history, see where it came from, see what it's all about get as much information as possible, take it from them. Yeah, in the meantime, I guess you're probably open to anybody that has any leads on this car. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely.